in your tenure as Attorney General, when these cases are being heard and all that, how many times has the Attorney General's department been approached by the Ministry of External Affairs seeking legal consultation? But the Attorney General has no role to play as uh, in international affairs. International affairs is dealt with by the Ministry of uh, External Affairs. And the External Affairs has its own legal officers and they have their representatives abroad and they should deal with those matters. And whenever they seek the assistance of the Attorney General's Department, the Attorney General's Department will extend that assistance that is needed. Let me tell you an incident. This happened several years ago. While I met the late Mr. Lakshman Kadiragama, he was not the foreign minister then. I suppose he was out of power at that time when I met him. Then he told me that we should, the Attorney General's Department should get involved in foreign affairs more than it does now. In fact, after he assumed duties as Attorney General, I wrote a letter to the then Secretary to the Minister of External Affairs, Mr. Amunugama, and I said, that, I never mentioned Mr. Lakshman Kadirigama, but I said that this should be done. But then there was no positive response. The impeachment of the former Chief Justice, Dr. Shirani Bandar Naika. Now, you, soon after the impeachment, uh, went to the Supreme Court and sought a, a decision from the court to quash the earlier decision that had been given by the Court of Appeal uh, quashing the decision of the Parliamentary Select Committee. Why did you do this? Were you instructed to do so or was it of your own initiative? A judicial authority has no power to pronounce upon a decision of a Parliamentary Select Committee which is part of Parliament. And if I had the slightest doubt that our position was not correct, that our stance was not correct, I would never have gone to court. But I did go to court, I made my submissions before a bench of five judges and the five judges gave a decision, a unanimous decision, saying that the court has no authority to pronounce upon a decision made by a parliament select committee. Najim, let me tell you this. I am firmly of the belief that a court has no authority to pronounce upon parliament, whether it be a parliament select committee or it be members of parliament. Now, if it is an irregular order, then people should take note of it. That was my argument, that was my stance, that is my firm and honest belief even today and that is what has been upheld as correct by the Supreme Court.